Since the late 1800s, projectors have been in full use in classrooms. Whether old projector or new, till today, all projectors have served the basic purpose of transmitting images on a surface. But that's the only similarity between these projectors. A lot has happened to projectors over time, from using oil lamps and candles as a source of light to the halogen lamp. Right now, it's either you're thinking of the time you had an overhead projector in your classroom, or you're not even thinking at all. Because you were born in the 3D era. The old ones that will probably be thinking about days the TV rolled in on a high cart, which means there's a substitute teacher. Good old days when your first aim as a student was to get as much information as possible from the pre-made transparency into a notebook. You just had to be focused, not to miss all you need to know for tests and exams. While the younger ones might just call it a day after the class, the older ones who were determined to succeed had to take their notes to a dorm room to recopy them with some more specific definitions from a textbook. Fast forward to the present, everyone has a laptop or tablet in front of them. Distance is no longer a barrier. You don't even have to be in the classroom to learn. And who cares about writing notes these days? If the teacher flashes anything on the screen, you can easily reach for your smartphone to capture it before it disappears, and for your life, you can carry that information anywhere. Even when you don't understand what's on the screen, Google is your friend. You can always ask. But what has happened to our overhead projectors? Right? The new generation seems so lost, and there's a need to go back a little. An overhead projector is made up of a base with a clear glass top housing and an interior light, plus an adjustable arm with a lens and a mirror. A transparent sheet is placed over the glass top, and the machine projects the sheet's written material onto whatever surface the lens is facing. Someone once asked, why did every classroom have an overhead projector? It made teaching quite easy. But maybe because we are talking about an overhead projector in the 21st century. It's kind of making that sentence not sound too true, but the truth is, at the time, it was much better than a chalkboard. A school teacher once said that whenever she taught her students using the chalkboard, she felt the students were only looking at her back. She could not focus on the students were probably not focused too. Using the overhead projector allowed teachers to outline a lecture beforehand by putting their points on a clear sheet. They just had to place these sheets over the glass top and voila! Everyone can see on the surface. Teachers were also able to watch the students and easily noticed the inattentive ones, therefore putting them back on track. If these projectors weren't so great, I doubt they, they would have been in use for that long. We're talking about over 40 years of rain. The original projector was created by Roger Appledorn in the early 1960s while he was working at 3M. He created the machine intending to project the image of writing on clear film. And of course, it has its dangers. When you use an overhead projector, the internal lamp causes it to heat up. The good thing is the casing can absorb the heat well, but you may want to take your hands off it after a long time of use. Also, putting it away before it has the chance to cool away can pose a fire risk to objects that end up touching the projector. Sometimes the excessive levels of heat cause the plastic parts of the machine to melt, releasing some very toxic chemicals into the air. Lives have been put at risk for learning, right? It's a good thing it paid off. Also, if you do as little as spilling a liquid on an overhead projector, get ready to be shocked literally, electrically. And yes, when you think about the days your teacher makes mistakes that require him to erase or he needs an extra sheet to write extra information for you to see, then he leaves the classroom to fix that and comes back only to find out that he needs an eraser that's not available, the simple illustration partly answers what happened to overhead projectors. Newer technologies have taken over classrooms that we see no need for an overhead projector. It's the same way video cassettes and TV monitors replaced movie projectors and films. For overhead projectors specifically, the document camera and, later, laptop computer with a ceiling fixture could project video clips, internet information, and whatever else the teacher had planned for a lesson. This means while teaching, if the teacher decides to change anything, he can easily do that without having to go in and out of the classroom. The goal is still served. Just like the old overhead projector that makes sure a teacher captures the attention of the students while simultaneously passing knowledge without backing the class, video projectors are equally the same, just that they are better. While an overhead projector will make a teacher swap sheet, technology has made it easier for a teacher to only change slides with just one click. Now all students have to do is listen to a teacher's explanation. And for those who need to revise the notes, you can always get the slides on your laptops, tablets, or smartphones. 
Nowadays, we don't have to go about with calculators, diaries, and textbooks while still carrying phones. Just one device takes care of it all. So next time you get asked, what happened to overhead projectors? You can refer the person to watch this video or simply tell them life just got easier.